Hi, my name is Miss Angela Rue, and I am a poet. I've been writing for a very long time, um, but I hadn't really discovered poetry until I was a senior in high school and um, kind of just started writing, journaling, stuff like that, but I really didn't start performing until I was in college. That's really the awesome part is the idea that everyone wants to feel connected in some kind of way. So we get up here and people always ask me all the time, like, why would you feel compelled to get up there and tell something so personal? But the funny thing is, I see the nods in the audience, like the yeah, the acknowledgement of yeah, me too, I've been through that. So it just kind of confirms that even though we're not all walking in the same walk, but we've all been in those situations. So it's really powerful. My that name way. is poetry. And I'm hotter than a government shutdown. Hotter than 47 rounds of ammunition aimed at an innocent opposition on a schoolyard. Know the target. I'm hotter than baby mamas waiting on whip. Hotter than a split ignited in the corner of a dorm room where we commune. Are you lifted? Do you inspire? Does your verse have the fluidity to crumble empires? Does your content contend with the complexity of those who came before you? Do you have the gumption to overlook a cliff, step death in the teeth, and say, I have nothing to lose. You got that kind of juice? Know the ledge. Know the edge is a figment of your imagination. Know that truth is a sword and shield for your contestation. Lose yourself to win tonight. Drown yourself to breathe tonight. Shackle yourself for three minutes to get free tonight. It's bigger than the judges' ones and twos. It's bigger than this room. Stand on top of your mountain, knowing that you emerged from between a rock and a hard place that had the stones to speak for those still trapped to tell the testimony of how you made it over. Stand for the woman sitting pretty with makeup covering that black eye. Stand for the father serving a life sentence who will never see his son walk across the stage to receive his degree. Stand for the mother who has to make a decision between tonight's dinner and this month's rent. Stand for the boy who doesn't know how to come out to his parents till his sentence stays choked in his throat. Stand for the girl ashamed of her body cutting herself in secret because words actually do have the power to puncture and slice you unrecognizable. Stand. Let your metaphors be the metaphors. First started out as a hobby, but because it's become something that is like literally my life, um, I really thought about like, you know, I, I really am inspired by women. So I really want to just start literally like I want to write a book eventually. Um, and my big goal is to do a non for profit to do outreach for young girls through the arts because that's something that is kind of, you know, gone, especially with girls of color in the inner city. So it's just like I feel like to give that back, which was given to me, is very important.